Finally, we will create a 3D axisymmetric problem using the 2D base that we created at the beginning of this tutorial. Click on Open and select Impact Base. First, we need to create a 3D problem, so we need to rotate this cross section around the axisymmetric axis. In order to do so, go to Utilities, click on Copy, select Surfaces and then select rotation. The angle that we are going to use is 20 degrees. For the axis of rotation, you can use the first point to be 0, 0, 0. And for the second point, you can choose this point and select one of the points. Finally, in extrusion, click on volumes then click select, choose all the areas and click OK. The result is a 3D cylindrical wedge, as you can observe in this. Now we can save this as an impact 3D version. From this point on, we have to define materials, boundary conditions and initial velocities. We learn how to do that at the beginning of this video. So now the video is going to run faster in order to save some time. We are going to start assigning the properties of the surfaces. Make sure that because this is a 3D cylindrical coordinates, you follow this specification. So, R, so X represents the radial direction, Y represents the Y direction, and Z represents the angular direction. Let's start defining the restrictions on the Y direction. Now, in this phase here, points cannot live on the radial direction, but they can live also on the tangential direction. So both X and Z, which represents R and theta, should be restricted. For these lateral phases, we should restrict the movement on the angular direction. So we should choose Z. Now you can click on Draw Colors to check that all the domain has been properly restricted. Next, we should also apply restrictions to lines. This is particularly special for the line of axis symmetry. For the vertical lines, we are going to apply restrictions in the radial and angular directions. And then, let's assign this. For these lines, we should apply restrictions on the radial and vertical direction. And finally, this arc should be restricted in all directions. This helps us to avoid situations in which the material points can leave the mesh in any of those corners. We can do the same thing for the intersecting points and just let us restrict all the movement of those points. Now we are ready to create the mesh. First of all, because this is a 3D problem, make sure that the element type is set to quadratic. So go to quadratic type, set quadratic.
and we can go to set calculation. This is a 3D cylindrical problem. 